You want to buy a candy and it's 17 cents? Do you have 17 cents? So you have to figure out how to make 17 cents. Do you remember? No. Anyway, good morning guys. Happy Friday. And before I even start the day, it's not actually Sophie's birthday today because we shoot on Thursday and we post on Friday. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. So tomorrow's Friday for us and it's my birthday, yay! Right, so happy birthday Sophie, even though it's not your birthday yet. But you know whose birthday it is? When you guys are watching this, somebody else has a birthday. One of our subscribers. So I'm gonna do comment of the day right this second so we can say happy birthday. M170313 sent us a message the other day and it said, hey Laura, Sam, Sophie, and Gabby. My name is Emily, I'm 13 and I've been riding for a nice while now. I ride Western in Newfoundland, Canada. I lease a horse named Monty and he is a 14.2 hand high halflinger. I think Sophie's like, whoa. I just want to say happy birthday to Sophie and that we share the same birthday. It, if this could be comment of the day on our birthday, it would mean a lot. Lots of love from Newfoundland and good luck, good luck on your horse hunt. So that's Emily and it's her birthday too, Sophia. Yeah, my birthday's tomorrow on Friday. Her birthday is tomorrow on Friday too, but this video is gonna go up on Friday, so I have to put it in today's video so we can say happy birthday, Emily. Happy birthday, Emily! Say happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you, but your birthday video will come up on Saturday. And I have a special video. Saturday. I have a special video that's gonna go up on Saturday for Sophia's birthday. But her party is not until next weekend. In two weeks, I'm gonna canto. Yeah, and you got some work to do on practicing though. <laughs> Hi guys. Am I riding Jasmine? Yep. What tack am I using? The Western tack. Just spit at you. Just spit at me. <coughs> you, got you, got you got Gabby's condition. Gabby too. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's job to hoof pick. Your job. You had your turn already. But I don't want to do it because it's like my favorite thing. today I can tell such a difference she likes me today she's licking me she wanted me to scratch her she's itchy today anyway I attacked up Western and I might not have got it perfect but I didn't feel overwhelmed I didn't feel like it was rocket science yeah she likes to scratch <clears throat> yeah you want a big scratch you gonna be good to me today I'm excited. Hopefully this lesson's funny. Why do you think it's gonna be funny? Because last lesson was funny. You just want me to fall, don't you? <laughs> you have to do around the world this time though. I'll try and do around, I can't do around the world on a western saddle. Yes you can. No, there's no way. See, even Jasmine just shook her head no. Guys, hopefully mom falls off. Poop duty, are you yeah. on poop duty? No. You're on poop duty. <clears throat> you are. Yeah. Oop duty, let's go. Come on, let's do it. You gotta learn this stuff. I know how to. Okay, rock, paper, scissors, let's go. Oh, great. Now we gotta learn. Is nobody picking up paper? Including you. We're doing rock, paper, scissors on Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Wait, I'm used okay. to rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Okay. Ready? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh, shh. <laughs> okay, you're out, you're out. 
Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. Yeah, go clean up the poop. <laughs> go clean up the I lost. Poop. I got poop doing it. That ride felt totally different than my other ones. I felt so much better. Did I look better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of. And you did like half of it without straps. Yeah. I did half of it. I a trotted. Quarter of it with, with yeah, a straps. quarter. Yeah. I had trotted without straps for a long time. And I can still walk. Yeah, because you're an adult. You have more muscles because you were born way before me. <laughs> way. <Yeah. laughs> I think that's her trying to say that I'm old. And you anyway, uh, I love Jasmine today. I felt like she was awesome. Guys, she's what? actually Do you going. think Jasmine's a good height for I me? I think Jasmine's a good height. Yeah. A nice height to lift the saddle. I had to tack her up all by myself in horse camp when I was riding her. And like, it was rushed because like, I had to like, uh, I have to be in the arena on my horse in five minutes. Yeah. Started brushing. Good. So let me tell you what was different today for me. And maybe I didn't look any different, but I felt a whole lot different. Like what was different for me was that I wasn't overwhelmed by all of it. And you know why it wasn't overwhelming to me? It was because of all the two weeks that we spent leasing horses. Those eight days, seriously, made me feel so much more confident. And once the confidence happened, then I just feel better. Like, I feel like today's lesson was night and day from before Fiona went away. I feel so proud of myself. Like, I'm not that young and I'm learning to ride a horse and I'm actually getting it now. 
Like, I just feel invigorated and excited and um, cannot wait to own a horse, you guys. When we own a horse, you guys gonna let me ride? No. I uh, know. I have to still ride at least once a week for my lesson. Mm -hmm. I'll teach you. Candy. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. And we're we gonna canter roll. without stirrups the first time. Yeah, Gabby was like, can she canter without stirrups? I'm like, I haven't even learned to canter yet. <laughs> Let me do that first before I can do it. Plus, I, I forgot to put on my second bra, but yeah. it felt really good You're today. Like I can't do that without stirrups on blue. I actually did it for four strides, though. Only four strides. Yeah. I have a feeling that when I canter without stirrups, it'll be like only for four, four strides, too. It's so beautiful. I have a uh, carrot from my boy, though. It oh, is no. freezing out go. here. <laughs> Poor Ruby almost fell off. She thinks that she she's, wants her belly rubbed. She thinks that she's a person. She Ruby. <laughs> she wanted her belly rolled. She's a crazy girl. No. That's what I love about golden doodles. They literally are the oh, most loving. Oh, and she's down. She's the down. most loving dogs. She down we ran Ruby over. She just wants to do this at night sometimes when Sam's not home. <laughs> we take Ruby to bed with us. Don't we do that? And Sam says no dogs on the bed, right? But we sneak her and we put her in bed with us and we love it, right? Mm. Anyway, when he comes home and he gets Ruby and he's like, don't go on the bed. He brings her downstairs and she- I look she, so pale. Listen, and she tries to sneak away from dad. So you know what he's been doing? What? He's been giving her bones <clears throat> at night so she'll stay with him and not sneak back in bed with us. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Anyway, we're sitting out here with the dogs. This is the door that we take them out to go to the bathroom. But anyway- But um, Ruby's like the queen because she's like- Yeah, Ruby's like the queen dog. She's standing up on my knee, looking around. Because the little dogs can't see past that porch, but Ruby can. Well, Ruby's standing on my lap. Got her paws on my lap, staring out. At the two dogs. She can see dogs over there. She's like, whoa, what's happening? <coughs> Sam has been working, we've been working so hard behind the scenes. Sam made the, our Halloween special video and it's hopefully, cross your fingers, gonna come up on Saturday. Do you love it? Yeah. It's like super scary. So if you guys want, if you guys are afraid of scary stuff, don't watch our video. It's, it's not that scary. Yeah, like I can handle it and I don't like I scary stuff. I can handle stuff. it. And you can handle it, but Sophia yeah. Sophia can handle it. Yeah, and even Sophia can handle shocked. it. Were you, do you like the video? Yeah, it's so good. Not like nothing we've ever made before, but it's- If you're five, then probably. Yeah, you guys watch. gotta watch it. Like I'm so excited to share our Halloween special. Anyway, so that's coming up this weekend. We have a special video for Sophia's birthday tomorrow. That's coming up tomorrow as well as this regular vlog that you're working, that you're watching now, so. That's an extra video. Anyway, we are wrapping Sophia's birthday presents. I'm super excited because it's her birthday tomorrow. Sophia was born at 3.03 a.m. It was the coolest story. I had Gabby at home, she was two and a half, and I was so nervous. I did not want to leave her. I planned to have a home birth with Sophia just so I could be home with Gabby and she wouldn't. I wouldn't have to leave her at home with the boys. So I couldn't have a home birth at the very end because she went way overdue and I needed to get induced, so I had to go to the hospital. So I made a deal with my midwife and I gave Gabby a bath at six o'clock and got her all ready for bed, tucked her into bed at 7 p.m and left and got to the hospital. So I went to the hospital at seven, got induced at nine, gave birth at 3.03 a.m. and came home at 5.30 in the morning. So we walked in the door and the dog started barking and woke up Gabby and she was all crying and I climbed into bed and I said, look at this is the baby. The baby came out of mommy's belly and she was horrified. She was like, ah! So yeah, then that begins the whole story of Sophia. We were just gone for a few short hours to give birth and then we came home, climbed in my bed. Poor Sam had to get up in the morning and take care of Gabby and I just got to sleep. We got a special guest to end today's video. She was laying on my bed and then we kicked her out of the bed when we started wrapping presents. Comment of the day goes to Abby Denton. Abby Denton and she says, ooh, stirrupless. I hate riding stirrupless. <laughs> 
Well, I chose that comment because in today's video, you already have seen. <gasps> just... <laughs> Our cat loves boxes, guys. <clears throat> she absolutely loves boxes. I made a box dog house. She loved it. Okay, so anyway, um, <clears throat> you've already seen uh, this girl, Roadster of Liz, for a long time. In today's video, I even my instructor was super proud of me. I was so proud of me, you guys. Like, it was a huge accomplishment for me. I didn't feel any aches or pains. I felt totally comfortable sitting there with no stirrups. Because you're older than me and you have more muscles because you're older than me. So I asked my instructor, am I going to be able to ride um, at No Stirrup November? And she said yes because I did it so well and I I'm loved it. Jumping. So Abby says that she doesn't like it. I loved it. Do you like riding stirrup lists? I'm not jumping. No. And she says maybe. I've asked, she said you're going to maybe jump without stirrups? Maybe. We'll see when I said I'm not jumping. Anyway, that's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.